What's up guys? Cody from AMR here and today we're installing these little guys. Today we're installing these. These here replace your factory rear reflectors. These aren't lights in the factory car, this is just a reflector. These are going to go in and replace it and go and tie right in with each side's side marker lights. So if you've watched our first install video, you saw how one side connected to the other. Instead of that one extension going from one side to the other, that extension is going to go to each side's rear reflector light, which is now an actual light instead of just a reflector. We're going to show you how that works here. All right, so what you're looking at now, that bolt right there is a 10 millimeter, and you also have a push clip right back there. You see where my shadow's pointing at? So you're going to need to remove that 10 mil and that push clip, and this will pop right out. Okay guys, before you can put this light in, the wiring harness for it comes out of the light. We're gonna have to drill a hole in the bumper right next to where it mounts. The easiest way to do this is with a pilot hole and a step bit. If you don't have a step bit, you're just gonna have to keep drilling bigger and bigger until you can fit this plug through. Now that the hole's drilled, you can install your light. Do the same thing for the other side. Okay. All right, now you're gonna put that plastic nut back on that you took off of your old reflectors. Thanks camera for unfocusing. There we go. And as you see, you already got that clip in on the back there. And then we're gonna to get to wiring. As you can see guys, we already have the striker light side marker kit in. We're going to be adding the rear bumper lights. So what we're gonna to have to do is, we're gonna to have to cut off all the heat shrink on the connections because we're going to be making new connections. All right, there we go. Here it is, everything, all the shrink wrap off, everything disconnected. We're gonna go ahead and connect our control harness. It's going to go into the old light socket. We're gonna wire it into our side marker light and our rear reflector. Okay guys, if you watched our first video about this, you could see the marker light has a purple wire with a white stripe, that would be our positive. And it's also got a black wire with a blue stripe, that would be your negative. Just like on the side marker light, the control harness, you wanna make sure the red wire on the control harness faces the same direction as the purple wire with the white stripe. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a heat shrink on to seal up our connection after it's done. Red goes to purple, black goes to black. And we're gonna heat shrink our connection. Okay guys, so now it's just a matter of plugging them in and testing them. That's the bumper light. That's the marker light. We'll test it to make sure everything works. And then we will zip tie our control box up and out of the way. Okay, now here's the passenger side. We already have a control box up because this is how our side marker lights were installed before we had our rear reflector lights. Now all we're gonna do is take off this heat shrink, remove this extension harness and connect it to our rear light where it was the driver's side, side marker light. All right, so there's the control pack that we installed in the last video, going right to our rear reflector lights. Okay, so that's how we have it set up. So we're running each side individually with each control pack. So one control pack controls the left side lights and the other the right side lights. You could also use the two supplied extension harnesses to use one control pack to run both of the rear lights and then the other control pack to run the side marker lights. We're gonna run it this way so we could run them individually. I think it'd be pretty cool to do it that way. So we got the left side here, and the right side's just the solid yellow that we had before. So I'm gonna set them up to match. I definitely like this solid yellow, and I think Caleb does too, so that's what we're gonna leave it on. The thing about striker lighting, guys, you can go crazy. Or, you can go subtle. 